Who is your favorite to win the AFC North, Dan? Um, the favorite will be the Baltimore Ravens. I believe the Cleveland Browns will win that division. I think if you just look at the roster talent-wise, that roster is absolutely loaded. And the biggest reason why is going to be the they're taking their weakness of last year, which is their secondary making it to a strength. I think the most important person on the football team is Odell Beckham Jr. If Odell can, one, come back and be healthy, and two, then seamless, seamlessly fit into that offense, he, th this offense is going to be as good as the Kansas City Chiefs, who should have the best offense in football. And now that's not an easy transition for him to kind of seamlessly fit in. How great this offense was, or as great as it was last year, the one thing that it was lacking was the ability to have big plays in the pass game. They, the 25-yard and more chunks, and Dom knows this. If you get like three of those a game, those 25-yard passes or more, you're going to win a lot of football games because yeah. of what it does to flip a field and points and whatnot. They were like 23rd in the NFL last year in those 25-yard or more passes. That was tied for New England. Now, everyone thinks New England last year, that, was, that pass game was bad. And so that's the big thing that Odell could have as an impact for this football team. But the secondary was, was so, such a weakness last year for Cleveland. And I know there's questions like Greg Newsom from Northwestern, their first-round pick. He's got to step in and play really well. Greedy Williams has got to stay healthy or get healthy. Denzel Ward's got to stay healthy. John Johnson, their free agent from the Rams, has got to come over and get everybody together. Troy Hill, their nickelback. Grant Delpit, their pick in, the, I think, the second or third round from last year's, got to get healthy. But, but if those guys are healthy and get together with cohesion, that defense in Cleveland is going to match that offense in Cleveland, and that becomes one of the best teams in the league. And I believe that's going to happen. That's why I think the Browns win that division. There's so many ifs. So the, you said a lot there, and I appreciate that you laid all of that stuff out there because you're right. Their problem was big threats in the passing game. And you don't have to hit three a game, but if you hit – a few every other week, like that makes your whole life a lot easier because the defense is then concerned about that. And you're right about all those things. If Odell can come in and be that, this offense gets a lot better. I'm going to stop short of saying that they're going to be the Chiefs because there's one major difference at the quarterback position. You said that they're going to be as good as the Chiefs. Let's chill out on that foolishness. But they're going to be very good. But the problem is why I'm going to stick with the Ravens winning is because there that? aren't as many ifs. <laughs> the only if is like if they can be the same team or close to the same team that they have been since uh, Lamar Jackson took over midway through the season for Joe Flacco a few years ago. Like, if they can come back and be close to what they've been last year and the year before, then I will stick with them. We don't need people to step up on their defense. We don't need to figure out if their secondary is, can live up to the hype because their secondary has been living up to the hype. So I'm with you. If the Browns secondary can play to their potential, they can win this division. But I don't have to say if about the Ravens. I don't have to say if about the Ravens at quarterback. I don't have to say if about the Ravens on their defense. I don't have to say if about that running attack. Like, the Ravens are the team in that division until proven otherwise, as far as I'm concerned. Go ahead, Dan. Uh, no, no, no. There's definitely ifs about the Baltimore Ravens. Like, oh, oh, if Rashad Bateman steps in and plays like a true one in the pass game, like Justin Jefferson did with Minnesota. Like, that, that's the real thing. Like, they okay, need him okay. to come can be the stop? guy. Can we take it Second one at thing. a time? One, one at a time. One okay. at a time. I'm, you're right. If the question is, are they going to knock off the Chiefs? Not if the question is, can they win that division? Because they won the division last year without Richard Bateman. Okay, next point. But that's also because Cleveland was playing, played multiple games without coaches. Like, because of COVID. Like, and they're only – and, again, that secondary is significantly better this year. So, to win the division, Bateman's going to have to be number, a, a true number one. Number two, there's two questions on their offensive line. Ronnie Stanley's coming back, their left tackle, from significant knee right. injury. If he's healthy – and if they replace somebody at guard, like Ben Cleveland, they drafted out of Georgia, he's got to go step up. And then the third thing, because I'll, I'll give you two of them at a time, Don, like they do got to find some guys to replace in the pass rush game. Like, is right. it going to be Derek Wolf? Is it going to be Justin Houston, who they recently so, signed? Like, there are some, the, if those guys perform okay. well, that defense will play I, I guess what it's I, accustomed to. I view those ifs as smaller. And the pass rushers isn't much as a, of a problem because they aren't a sit back and pass rush team. They're a blitz team, again, because they have a secondary that they can rely on that is incredibly deep. So I'm not as concerned about the pass rushers because they didn't generate a four-man rush. Like, they generate 
six, seven, eight man rushes right. is how they generate pressure. So, like, as long as they have able bodied people that can understand the rules of their blitz packages, then they're going to be all right as far as rushing the passer as long as the cornerbacks can stand up. And that's to the original point you made about Odell Beckham. If Odell Beckham is someone who they can't leave Marlon Humphreys on for the course of the game in man coverage, which is what they did for much of the time when they right. played him, if yeah. Odell and Baker grow to a point together, and it, frankly, it's more on Baker than it is on Odell. If they grow to a point Correct. together where um, Humphreys cannot lock up Odell for the course of an entire game, then we're talking about something. But until then, I'm not worried about that defense, and I'm certainly not worried about the offense because, well, as long as Lamar Jackson is healthy and he bounces yeah. back from this bout of COVID the same way he bounced back from the first one. I'll make one point on each quarterback that will go a long way to determine who wins the division. If Baker Mayfield can be as good – when the run game isn't as impactful play action wise, when he has to drop back as he is right. in the play action game, in comparison to if Lamar can really start to threaten people down the field and outside with the football, in comparison to just down the middle field, whoever does that better obviously has a huge, huge chance and opportunity to win the division. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.